Yes. Raise your voice. You said there's not supposed to be any type of interaction between boy and girl. Well, that's cool when you have study groups. What do you do then? Well, I study group. Uh, are you obliged to study with each other? You'll be selective. Not only boys and girls, even boy to boy. Ah, and when the teachers... I know. So there is a limit. You have to tell uh, to yourself. Deep. I'm glad that you raise it because it happened any time. And the teacher divide the student into groups to work as a group. Huh? And then you find yourself, you are the only boy and then four girls around you. American, non-Muslim. So what would you do? I'm saying you have to work with them and then you have to remember Allah is seeing you and Allah knows how you are thinking. And you, they know you, if they don't know you are Muslim and then later they know you are Muslim and you are decent, you don't touch anyone, you don't uh, flatter with anybody and then they respect you much and more. They might accept Islam. But if you goof around here and there, well, you are like any other goofer, so what? I'm not saying you personally don't misunderstand, but you have to show that you don't represent yourself and your mom and dad only. You represent all of us at one time. And you represent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this planet Earth. When you have that type of an attitude, believe me, you are being number one. Now, suppose you tell your teacher, I don't want because my religion does not allow me. When you are sitting co-ed in the school, in the classroom, huh? what would you do if two American girls sitting, one right, one left? and both are with miniskirt. What would you do? How about your teacher coming as a lady and she has a miniskirt and she's teaching and sit, she sit on the table? She sit on the table with miniskirt. What would you do? Kick her out, huh? <laughs> don't have a university. <laughs> Bill, tell mom and dad why don't we have a university of our own? Or what, why not having a high school of our own? Now our problem in America, we don't have high schools, Muslim high school. The best Muslim high school, those who that have at least uh, to 8th grade or 9th grade. Now in Chicago, they started at least to 12th grade, but there's only few students. In uh, LA area, Orange County, up to 8th grade. And most of the girls having hijab and they pray daily in the masjid with the boys and they respect it. And during graduation, they are crying. I go to graduation party there in the masjid in the center, the girls are crying. Why? Because now they dump us in high school where sex and drugs and dancing and prom and whatnot. And we have to take out our hijab and no namaz, no, no akhlaq, no. I said, you see, Dr. Muzammar Sadiq, why don't you? It costs money, yes. But which is more important, money or your own loving daughters? You lose one daughter, you lost more than $10 billion from your own budget because your biological investment is over and therefore you lost your children and you lost your identity, you lost your heritage, you lost everything. But that's another thing.